What's going on, guys? Video on my phone here, so I gotta crouch down beside him, uh, try and get everything in frame. But anyway, uh, man, it's been a grind. Uh, it is a uh, Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving, and I've always made a joke that it's just kind of feel like I broke a curse today because. I've never killed a good buck after what I would consider a good buck after Thanksgiving. It just, it starts getting tough for me, it always has around that time. But uh, I gotta give a huge shout out to my wife. We was on the way home from Thanksgiving last night and uh, she had mentioned we want to do some Black Friday shopping. I said, well, just, just go ahead if you want and I'll just try and hunt uh, this evening. And she said, no, I'll go ahead and go. So if it wouldn't have been for her, I, I wouldn't even been in a tree this morning, so appreciate her giving me the okay. Uh, but anyhow, man, it's been a grind. It's deer number three on the year. Killed a doe on public land with a bow. Killed a little six-pointer out of this same tree. Uh, opening day of gun season. And uh, and now this guy. And I actually, man, he's been in, he's, you can't really, really tell, but he's scarred up right here. He's broke this eye guard off. So he's got four on this side and three on this side. And he's he's scarred up right there. He's he's been after it. Uh, it's one of the craziest mornings I've ever had in the woods. One of the best mornings. Um, he came in with a little spike at like 6:45 this morning, and uh, that little spike. I had to let him get on by me before I could get my gun up and get it up over my bridge to get on him, and uh, he actually. Ran that little spike off, and when he did that, he got in there on my clothes. He was at like 10 yards. And uh, <clears throat> thankfully, I was able to, I thought it, I swore he saw me in the tree. He looked directly up. I, I, don't, I don't know how he didn't bust me. I really don't. And, uh, but thankfully, he calmed down, and I was able to get on him. Um, what he's doing, <clears throat> I looked right after that, right after I shot, there's a group of three does and uh, I guess he was just paralleling them and he'd been after him, been after them and I think he thought that little spike was gonna go over there and try and get a hold of one of them and so he, he run him off. But man, I actually had to wait to get down because uh, I, I wanted, I want my wife to come back in here and hunt this. Uh, there's been, uh, man, I probably saw eight or nine deer before seven o'clock and uh, I saw another tall tight rack buck run a doe up the ridge on up above me there. But uh, I really think I saw this buck during bow season. Uh, I've been hunting uh, been hunting some public land hard, but youth hunt come around. They didn't want to mess any youth hunters up in there. Had some good times on youth hunt growing up, so uh, let wanted to let that be their day. So I came over here and uh, I saw this buck with a bow and uh, he's, He's on up above me, and I just, I never could get on him. He never, he never would give me a shot. And uh, thankfully, he he hung around in here. Uh, I had, I've been wanting to hunt this. Come back in here and hunt this, but I just ain't had a good win. Um, and I would, in the times that I would hunt, uh, I'd always consistently see some doe groups coming in here and had a picture of him and another nice buck in here. And, uh, Man, I just I wasn't gonna come I wasn't gonna come in here and risk it, you know, with a, with a bad win, and uh, thankfully, you know, that's it paid off. You know, patience does pay off. So it, it's hard to do, it's hard to do, especially you know, uh, especially you know when you work for a living, you only got so many, so many limited days, so many good days that you can go. You know, sometimes you just want to come in here and hunt it, but anytime you're around uh what you feel like may be a known bedding area wait them out man i'm not no expert by any means just the average guy that loves to do it but man it paid off it paid off this morning was was a great morning this is deer number three on the year pretty in my mind pretty good buck for this area uh not bad at all um feel like he's probably a three-year-old deer fun hunt uh the old Remington 770 probably pushing for close to 30 kills now. Uh, a lot of people knock them, but man, I, I love it. I've killed a lot of deer with it. That, 
130 grain Hornady, they can't hold that. They don't make it far. And uh, number two, out of the tree hopper recon, love it, man. Come in here, <coughs> funnel spot that I, I killed a little six pointer probably, I guess two right at two weeks ago. Uh, that tree, I ain't, ain't hunted it but one other time since then. Just been waiting on a good wind to get back in here. And uh, man, it, awesome hunt. I love, I love it when when them deer want to come in right at daylight. That it makes it easy on me. I ain't, I ain't got to sit there too long. So, cause I get antsy. <laughs> so, anyhow, we gonna get him quartered up, get him in the meat sack, and and get on out of here. So, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good one.